Big news from GameStop today, they just announced their beta version of the GameStop NFT marketplace, and they also announced their GameStop crypto wallet. So today I'm gonna to be taking you through the GameStop NFT marketplace, giving you my first impressions, and letting you know whether or not you should be using this new GameStop NFT marketplace. I'm Devin Cook, thanks for watching, and welcome back to Dev Money. All right, so when we jump into the GameStop NFT marketplace right here at nft.gamestop.com, you're going to see this website where they say right here, power to the players, explore, collect, and trade NFTs. And you're going to see with this GameStop NFT marketplace that it's set up very similarly to other NFT marketplaces that you're probably already familiar with. Over here on the left, they have this search bar where you can search for any NFTs. And then over on the right, they have this explore, the stats, the learn, and the connect tab. So you can connect your wallet and start trading NFTs. And then as you scroll down, you're going to see some of their featured creators, some of their featured collections. And then also you're going to see that they're having Immutable X coming soon as well to the this platform. And they say that some of the biggest Web3 games in the world are being built on Immutable X with more being announced soon. And they say that Immutable X is bringing access to millions of world-class gaming assets to the GameStop NFT marketplace and offers 100% gas-free and carbon neutral minting and trading to users. And if you're not familiar with Immutable X, go check out some of the videos I've made on that platform. And they are very similar to Polygon in that they are a layer two scaling solution and they are gas-free. And you're going to see down here some of the games that they're going to have like Illuvium, Gods Unchained, Guild of Guardians, Planet Quest, Ember Sword, and there's going to be a bunch more. Scrolling down, they're going to have some more featured NFTs, and then they're going to have some tutorials as well down at the bottom, so you can see how to connect your wallet to GameStop Marketplace, how to purchase ETH using a fiat currency like USD, and then how to activate your Loopring Layer 2 account on GameStop NFT and buy your first NFT. And some of the things that make this marketplace a bit different is they say they're giving the power to the players, as you could already tell they're very much focusing on games that are based off of NFT technology and they're wanting to bring that with this marketplace as is probably pretty obvious because this is GameStop. They're built around video games so it makes sense that they're wanting to have a very big gaming aspect to their NFT marketplace. They say they're gonna have low fees but high speed for transactions and they're also secured by the Ethereum mainnet and Loopring layer 2. And when you come back up top you're gonna see that you can get information on the GameStop and Immutable X group grant program. And when you just go click over there, you're going to see a lot more information about this. So basically what this is, is it's a 100 million immutable X grant program, and they're calling on the builders and creators to power the future of NFTs and Web3 gaming. And you can apply just down here below. And they specify the types of projects that they're looking to support, like metaverses, game developers with launched games and incredible traction, triple A studios or publishers, prominent content producers and artists, esport companies, leading brands, influencers and celebrities, and new technologies that may benefit their platform and ecosystem. So if you fit any of that criteria, it may benefit you to go apply for the GameStop Immutable X grant program. So when you come over here to the Explore tab, it's gonna be very similar to Magic Eden or OpenSea or Coinbase or many other NFT marketplaces where it's just going to show you that they have 297 collections right here. And you're just going to scroll through and you're going to see a bunch of these different collections that they have. And you're going to also have this filter button so you can filter by price, by media type, HTML, image, model, or video. And then you can also go through the default, the newest, the oldest, most likes, least likes, etc., etc. Basically, it's just a simple way to scroll through and just find new NFTs that you may not have heard of before. And then over here, we come to the stats. Now, we can see by looking at the seven day time period that the most popular collection on GameStop is Metaboy with 1.1 thousand Ethereum in total volume in the last seven days. The floor price is sitting at 0.13 Ethereum at about $160. And then you've got Ordinary NFT Cards, Cyber Crew, Power to the Apes, Boom of Atomics, I think I said that right, Genesis, Player Gloves, Recovered Memories, PXL Toys, and the Roaring Twenties rounding out the top 10 on the platform. And then finally, their Learn tab is just gonna have a lot more NFT to tutorials so that way you can get up and running on their platform even if you've not really had any experience with nfts and then also when you come over here to the connect tab you can connect with wallet connect metamask or the gamestop wallet and you can just make a gamestop wallet right here as well so that's pretty much in a nutshell the gamestop nft marketplace so what are my first impressions and what do i think about this 
marketplace overall. Well, first off, keep in mind that these are just my first impressions. I haven't had time to really use and go through this like I have with OpenSea or something like Magic Eden. But overall, right off the bat, I do like this marketplace. I think they've set it up pretty well, but they do have a lot of funding. They're a really big brand already. And so it makes sense that they're gonna build out a pretty good NFT marketplace right from the start, just in terms of UI and overall user experience. So I think the UI and overall aesthetic of the website is pretty nice, but you're not gonna use a marketplace just because it looks good. You're only gonna use this marketplace over something like OpenSea because it adds some specific benefits that you're not getting elsewhere. And what I think that GameStop NFT marketplace really has going for them is that they're focusing on giving the power to the players. They're focusing on gaming and that's their strong suit. And so I really think they're gonna do well in this space. And they already have their marketplace built on Loopring, which is a layer two scaling solution. And they're also bringing on Immutable X, which is another layer two scaling solution. And a lot of games are being built on Immutable X as we speak. So just like a lot of players in the NFT space, GameStop is still incredibly new to this space. So time will tell how well they do and if they can really build a great place and build a strong community around NFT games. But if they can pull that off, I think they're gonna be massively successful. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the new GameStop NFT marketplace. And as always, thanks for watching.